World War II ended 75 years ago. Surviving veterans of that war are now in their 90s. Some of those vets are using Zoom to keep their military history alive. As News Ace David Godverson reports tonight, computer technology is allowing World War II vets to tell their stories to local school children. They're in their 90s, but still singing. Four veterans of World War II in the Pacific now using Zoom to connect with hundreds of grade school students at San Diego Jewish Academy. I ended up on a very, very small ship. Signalman Gilbert Nadeau enlisted when he was just 16 years old. The biggest challenge, of course, was staying alive. Parachute rigger Manuel Flores, age 17. Gun pointer Stuart Headley, age 18. We had been hit by six torpedoes. Headley's a Pearl Harbor survivor. And the fire was as high as this building from the oil that was burning on the water. Aviation engineer Andre Chapaz enlisted at age 18. Everything was wet. All our equipment was wet, our rifles were beginning to rust. The Zoom meeting was held in the military wing of a private auto museum in Sorrento Valley, owned by philanthropists Chuck and Amy Spielman. The school children, K through 12th grades, responded with a patriotic video of their own, thanking the veterans. I enjoy talking to children about the war. For four years, we had 14 landings on these islands. The Japanese were ahead of us. Uh, in amphibious warfare, but by the time war, war was over, we beat them at their own game. That's the history I like to convey, you know, to the young. Former San Diego Charger Donnie Edwards organized the event through his nonprofit, the Best Defense Foundation. The group works to engage children with veterans and helps the World War II vets return to their battlefields all around the world, preserving military history. Freedom is not free. Freedom is gained at a price. You are the future of our country. Keep your mind, your eyes open. Learn to love one another, then you won't fight with one another. David Godfordson, News 8. So special to hear them share their messages like that. As part of a proud annual tradition, CBS 8 is joining the Warrior Foundation Freedom Station, AM 760 iHeartRadio, and Armstrong and Getty to raise money to fly our heroes home for the holidays. We're helping raise money during a give-a-thon on November 20th. For information, go to cbs8.com warrior.